If you ever decide to move to a rural area in or around British Columbia, you might be forced to use a septic system. But before you do, it's crucial to take the time to educate yourself about septic tanks. Let's take a closer look at how septic tanks work and what you'll need to do to maintain them once you have the septic tank installation done. Septic tank installation should be left to the professionals. Designing a septic tank system is no easy task. It's a lot more complicated than simply digging a hole in the ground, putting a septic tank into it, and then covering it up. Prior to septic system installation, a trusted septic tank company needs to come out to your home to analyze the ground to which you plan to put your tank. This is done to make sure the ground is suitable for a septic tank setup. This includes checking the type of soil you have and whether you have enough space. Septic tank systems need to be monitored at all times. It's a big responsibility having a septic tank installed. While those who use sewers don't really spend much time thinking about where their wastewater goes, those with septic tanks need to monitor them at almost all times just in case a problem arises. One way to keep an eye on your septic tank is to walk around on the area where your drain field exists. This area should never be wet or even damp. If it is, it could mean that water isn't draining properly from your septic system. You should also keep watch over the area surrounding the septic tank itself. Is there bright green grass growing or puddles forming near it? It could mean you're either using too much water on a regular basis or it could be a sign of a much larger issue. Septic tanks need to be pumped regularly. No matter how careful you are about what you put down the drains in your home, you're gonna need your septic tank pumped regularly. Septic tanks will, over time, fill up with sludge when solids make their way into the tank. That sludge will slowly take up more and more space until eventually it takes a toll on your tank's ability to move wastewater along. About once every three to five years, you should have a professional come out and clean your septic tank for you. Septic tank systems must be ventilated properly. After you start using your septic system for a while, it'll fill up with poisonous gases that form due to the high waste that moves through it. There will also be unpleasant smells as the bacteria in the septic tank breaks down solid organic matter. These gases and smells can become problematic for you if you don't have the proper ventilation system in place. Septic tanks can cause backups in your home if problems aren't addressed. When a septic tank isn't maintained the way it should be, the tank can fill up and actually cause waste and wastewater to come spilling back into the home. If you notice that the wastewater from your home isn't draining the way it should, calling for help is essential. Some warning signs to watch for include sewage backup in the toilets and drains of your home, toilets that flush very slowly or not at all, and wastewater on the ground directly above your septic tank. Take the first step in designing a septic tank that'll work well for your home by contacting us today. You can also visit our website to learn more about maintaining your septic tank. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.